SMP Nation. Can you guys hear me okay? Are we here? Are we ready? I feel like it's been so long since I have been here and with you guys. Um, let me know. I might be a little bit rusty. I don't know. It's been so long, but we have so much to catch up on. How are you guys doing? Are we still in recovery from Quilt Fest? Let me know. 
we're we're we finished quilt fest and we were right on to the next thing right come monday morning we've got so many new things that we're planning planning and yeah i've got a whole page of notes that i want to get through with you guys today because we i just haven't seen you there's so much we have to talk about so let's start off with quilt fest so i hope everybody enjoyed quilt fest we were all there behind the scenes working on all the you know having all the educators and it was so much fun and the contest was one of my favorite parts about quilt fest this year the competition was crazy i just have to admit if any of you guys submitted a quilt um to the contest amazing job i had so much fun looking at all the different projects and looking at everybody's creativity it was really amazing and it really inspired me to start making more projects and things like that so thank you all for participating because it was amazing i just have to put that out there it really was it was so much fun and I have to say a huge shout out to Debbie Roxanne Michelle Christina and Cindy who all were the finalists and winner of our dream studio giveaway and that was like a little surprise because we thought you know we should pick out a finalist every day and spoil them too why not so I love that you guys all won some goodies. And Debbie and Roxanne, I know you both are always watching the shows. And when I saw your guys' names were picked, I was freaking out. I don't even know if you guys could hear me in the background with the mics on (laughs) where we were all sitting, but I was screaming. I was so excited. So congratulations and congrats, Roxanne. It is just, it's so amazing. And I love it when I see the familiar faces winning these amazing prizes. It just means so much because I'm like, oh, my friends, they're winning. So that was so, so much fun. But I have to quickly talk about something really quick because we have a new member of SMP Nation. Do you guys want to know who it is? I'm going to show you who it is right now. Meet Winston, my new dog. He is so, oh my gosh, I love him so much. He is our newest member of SMP Nation. Here he is right here. He is six months old. He's a Chihuahua weenie mix. I love him. He is the best. And I just got him last week. And we have to give him the proper SP Nation welcome. So there's Winston for you. Say hi to Mr. Winston. Maybe I'll bring him for one of the shows. Or maybe I'll like get some videos of him or something so you guys can see. Or I'll post it in the group. But he's my child and I love him so much. And he's just amazing. And I already have plans of what I'm going to be making him. You know, if you put a dog in the mix with the embroidery machine and all the amazing projects. I mean, I think I'm going to be a little bit unstoppable with the dog accessories and things like that. So just letting you know. (laughs) Oh, Winston's a good name. I, you know, when you see a dog and like, you just kind of, it was so hard for me to think of a name before I met him. Cause I'm like, I don't know his personality. And my favorite show of all time is New Girl, and one of the characters is named Winston, and so when I got him, I don't know why, but I just, the minute I saw him, I was like, he's a Winston. I don't know why. Maybe maybe it's for a reason, but it is it is what it is, and he's the best. Winston is very British. <laughs> I mean, I love it. I love anything British. Everybody here can agree. I'm always talking in a British accent, so... I just wanted to say, welcome Winston to SMP Nation, and he has had such a warm welcome so far. So we actually brought him over, and everybody was obsessing over him. And he's my just he's my pride and joy. I know I have that motherly instinct now. <laughs> but yes, had to get that out of the way. Had to had to talk about him just really quick. So moving on to today and the rest of the next coming months and the future we have so much going on let me tell you so we do have smp live this week as per usual we've got a great guest coming on and we have just a really exciting show so make sure you tune in for that now we are coming up with the end of march and we are going into april and you know what april is if you don't i'm going to tell you right now it is national serger month so All month long, we're going to be highlighting and talking about sergers, serger education, all of the good stuff. We have some amazing deals and specials going on for sergers, so be on the lookout for that because if you've been looking for a serger or, you know, you maybe are a little bit hesitant before making the jump and actually, you know, buying one or trying one out, highly recommend you stay tuned and hang out with us all through April because we are going to be doing 
so much with Sergers. You're going to be a pro by the end of the month. I'm telling you, it's going to be great. So ways that you can stay updated on all of that is through our emails. You can sign up for our emails just by going to our website and putting your email in. And that will keep you in touch with all things SMP, all the deals, all the specials, um, in-class events and things like that. Which also reminds me, if you are local, I don't know how many local people we have on here. I know we have quite a few, but keep an eye on our class calendar because it's always being updated and we have some really exciting events planned and some really fun in-person classes and events and just really some special fun stuff. So definitely recommend if you're just looking for something to do, maybe you've got a free day and you see a class, join in and come hang out with us. And who knows, maybe we'll be popping in and saying hi, because today we have our Handy Quilter Long Arm event. The truck is outside at our San Marco store, and they are teaching. Handy Quilter brought their best educators to teach all about the long arms and the amazing techniques that come along with it. So I might be popping over there and sharing some videos, because I want to go see what is going on over there, and I haven't been over there yet. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Um, also, we are starting a blog so I've mentioned it a little bit on our Facebook group, and I don't think I've mentioned it too much on our main socials, but we're starting a blog. So if you're looking for, you know, something to read and you want some quick tips and techniques and fun projects and just more content, but in a blog form, that'll be coming up very soon. We're going to have guests come on and write and, you know, do different blog posts. So if that's something you're interested, you can find that right on our website at the bottom of the, of our site. You can just go to our homepage and it'll be right there for you. Um, I love it. I've never written in a blog before or done something like that. So it's a new thing. And I'm really excited because I, if you didn't know, I love to read, but I'm very much like it happens in phases. Sometimes I'll read for a month and I'll be obsessed and then I'll kind of fade out of it and then I'll get back, get back into it. But I think with blogs, I love the format where it's kind of shorter and you're learning something and sometimes it comes with a project or design. So fun stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff. Always something fun going around at SMP, let me tell you. Um, also, so I'm almost done with my list, I promise. I'm almost <laughs> Fabric Palooza. We had that just a few months ago, and we are doing round two. So if you, are, if you are, excuse me, in person or online, or you're out of state and you can't come into our retail stores, we're going to be doing Fabric Palooza at our retail and online. So dates coming soon, more info coming soon, but I just wanted to let you guys know first that it is coming back for round two, and we have way more fabric because you guys surprised us last time with how fast we sold out it is just it was the the response that we got was just wild and it was so amazing so we had to stock up on some more fabric so we can thank the san marco store and the mission bay store for all the cutting and all of the packing that they're all doing and we're just getting ready for round two we are prepping we are prepping guys now the big thing that you guys are all wondering about that I'm gonna set I'm gonna set the record straight right here right now. Hoop Fest, June 12th through the 16th. Mark your calendars, take your PTO, mark it all off. We're gonna be here right on our YouTube and streaming just like Quilt Fest, but all things embroidery. So if you're an embroidery person like me, definitely tune in because it is gonna be way fun. And you guys saw all the prizes and all the giveaways and all the fun stuff that we did at Quilt Fest and just know we always try and get bigger and better each festival. So I'm just warning you, take that, take that information, keep it in your back pocket, mark your calendars, and we will see you June 12th through the 16th. Okay. I think I've got all through my main list. If I'm missing anything, ask me a question. Lynn asks, what's PTO? Paid time off. Request your time off at work and join us for Hoop Fest. <laughs> All right, you guys. I, the amount of people that took the week off for Quilt Fest, I'm. I just love that. I love that. We just we knew you guys were all watching all day. It was so much fun. Okay, now I'm gonna close my notes. I think that's all I had to get through for today. But with that, make sure you guys are staying connected with us on our Instagram and our Facebook. 
we have lots of stuff coming. I'm just going to let you know. We are working on so many new things and new ideas and just fresh content that will help you guys and educate you and inspire you because that is the main goal here. So, all right, guys. Now let's talk about today's show. Today's show. We have a really interesting guest coming in today. Um, you've seen her a lot before. Um, you know, she's she's here, there, and everywhere, and she's always here. And let me just, I'll tell you who it is right now. It's me! I'm taking over today. Are you guys excited? Is this scaring you maybe a little bit? I decided that I wanted to try, and all the time that I have been doing Takeover Tuesday, I'm like, you know what? I haven't done one. I haven't done a Takeover Tuesday, and with all the amazing events and the quilt contest from Quilt Fest and just all the amazing things you guys have been posting and so much stuff, you guys have really inspired me to start getting into more projects and doing more things. So I decided I'm going to do my own Takeover Tuesday. So I kind of wanted to surprise you. I didn't really make any announcements of it, but we're here and I made a little video for you to talk about the mug rug that you saw in the thumbnail. So I just have a couple of notes about it before we get started. This mug rug is a free design. So if you watch today's video and you really enjoyed it and you want to make one for yourself, please go ahead and do. And what you can do to get the design is you can join our Facebook group and it'll be right there. I think the post should be up in a few minutes of the design. It's going to be in a Dropbox link. You just click on that link, and the only design that we have at the moment is PES. But if you do have a different machine that is not PES compatible or you need a different design, you can email me. My email is kennedyc at Sewing Machines Plus, and you can reach out, and I can get you that design of whatever um, compatible file format you need. So just reach out and let me know. But So you can go onto our Facebook group and get that design and then stitch it out and post pictures in the group i just i love it i love to see when we all do like one similar project it's gonna be great but with this mug rug so we had directions on you know just on a word document and it was a very simple directions you know just very simple but i went ahead and made the video today and I included all of the, you know, placement stitches and all the colors that I use. All the information is on that video. So if you do decide to do the project, I highly recommend watching this video as you stitch it out um, in case, you know, you run into any trouble or anything happens because I walk you through it step by step. So this is kind of like your visual directions for the project if that makes sense so and I also have like a couple of notes here and there so once the video's over I'll kind of pop in and you know talk about some things but I just had to do a disclaimer really quick because the video today when I filmed it and edited it and put it all together it looked great it looked really good the coloring was really 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 good and when I uploaded it into our stream software that we use it really drained out the color. So bear with me on that one. It does look a little washed out, but it doesn't take away from the actual project itself. And I've got it here. Here, I'll even show you right now. So this is what we're going to be making today. It is the cutest little mug rug. I have to admit, I haven't ironed it yet. Um, I just got an iron into the little area that I have the sewing machine and all that stuff set up. I have it over there and I just gotten it right after I stitched this out. So I will iron this and finish it. But this is what it looks like. Um, it's super simple. So if you have never, maybe you're someone who's never done embroidery before, you're brand new to it, you've only done a handful of projects, or you're a seasoned embroiderer and you're looking for just like a quick little project. Maybe you are with family and you want to show them how to do it. These are also perfect gifts. Um, it's great. And we also, this was designed in Floriani TCU software, which is something that I am so intrigued by and really interested in learning about. So if you do like today's video and you want some more software education, let me know. Cause I love to do a software show if you guys are interested, but I want to know what software you guys have. Cause maybe I can do like a show on, you know, in brilliance or, um, dime software, anything like that. But Yes. So this was all done in Floriani TCU and now it's yours. So, which is, it's so exciting. Also, the fact with this design is that you can really do whatever you want with it. 
the main things that stick is just the shape of it, how it turns out, and the pink lemonade little glass jar here. But you can change the colors. You can do whatever you want. That's why I really love this design is that you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, I just picked two random fabrics that I kind of liked. I liked both of these and I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not? So here's our little design and I'm super excited to show you because I've never done a takeover before. I'm like, this is the show that I've been doing forever and I've never done a little class or anything like that before. So without further ado, we're going to get started with the video today. Um, but if you have any questions about the design or the video or anything like that, let me know. I might the whole color situation was really bugging me this morning. I was like downloading it and re-downloading it so much to try and get the colors right and just make it look a little bit brighter. But just bear with me on that. I can always repost it um, in our Facebook group or put it somewhere to where you can see the actual clear video. Um, but it's just it's just a little drained out. It makes me look really scary, but it's okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with the video. Let me know any feedback, anything like that. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I guess we're just going to get started. I mean, ways you can stay connected with me, like our Facebook page on Sewing Machines Plus. Follow us on Instagram. I'm just giving the whole shameless plug. But let's go ahead and do it. Let's get started. And I'll be right back. Bye, guys.
All right, guys. What did you think? Did you like it? I'm sitting here watching it like every single, every little note that I have. I'm like, oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I forgot to do that. Listen, <laughs> if you're doing that, do we all need to stop? It's just a project. It's all good. We're having fun, right? If you liked it, thank you. It was really fun. And it, that project is so much fun to make. I do have a couple of notes, not only for myself, but for you guys, if you do try this project. My number one piece after watching that video again was getting a turning tool or some sort of tool to help with those corners. Um, I That clip was cut very short and a lot of that was sped up, but I probably sat there for about five minutes trying to get all the corners all perfect. So definitely invest in some sort of turning tool. I mean, you could even, I'm sure you could find something around that you already have that just helps get all those corners out. But um, I'm definitely going to be investing one. And also ironing. I had not gotten a chance to iron it yet, but definitely just take it and run the iron over it, but put something in between the iron and the fabric to protect it. Um, sometimes I use scrap fabric, um, just something to protect that layer, you know, in case your iron has any grime on it, we want to protect the embroidery and the stitches and all that stuff. So Kim Wolf said chopsticks, exactly. Like something small just to kind of get in there. I mean, I probably could have even used a pen. Um, I don't know if I trust the ink though. <laughs> I just got to say that, but yeah, I mean, something just to kind of keep the corners looking nice. And I know we have tons on the website, so I'm going to be going. And I think we're going to the store today. So maybe I'll film a video of me getting some supplies that I need to stock up on. But other than that, this project is so much fun. And Kathleen made a good point. I lost her comment. Let me see if I can find it. But um, she said, let me see. I have to find the comment now or else it's going to bug me. But... Da -da 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 -da. You guys are saying such nice things. I can't with you guys. Stop it. Stop it. Um, okay. I really want to find this comment because it was a good one. Hang on. Hang on. Do, 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 do. I think I'm almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Well. Oh, so we were talking about Kimberbell paper tape. Now, I personally really love the Kimberbell paper tape because it is so easy to remove. Debbie also just said the purple thing. I was trying to think of the name, the purple thing. I used to use that all the time in the stores. Really good little tool and just something small again, just to kind of make sure the turn the corners and all that is all good and it's all flipped correctly. Just makes life really easy. But the Kimberbell paper tape is actually so easy. And I always get scared when I see like tape or something that could leave residue on the project. So I really, really, really look and, and look at all the products that I use and really make sure that it's not going to affect anything. Because like, for example, this is white fabric. So, excuse me, when I taped this down, I was really worried that even though the tape ended up not going anywhere near it, but I was just worried that something was going to happen with the embroidery and there was going to be grime or something. Because then it's hard to take it off and it's already in the hoop and I just try and make it as least and what's the word I don't want any frustration and I don't want you guys to have any frustration either but when you finish I mean the makeup and like the proportions and all the way that it ended up I feel like you might be able to use this for so many other things like maybe even a tissue holder I actually just recently made a tissue holder that's the same type of thing but it's folded like that see so it's got like different edges and stuff but this one I did I messed up a little bit so we're gonna try again but yes this one is really great but I feel like you might be able to like do something with it you know I my mind wanders when I look at one project I'm like oh it could work with this like even a makeup makeup holder or like just something small where you can store stuff I'm sure you could probably like even install a zipper and then have a little like coin purse there's so much you can do but Cindy asked what yellow thread did I use for the lemon that one I was about to get up and go to my little <laughs> my little area but it is a brother thread actually and I want to say the shade I remember it like it tripped me for a second because it was like neutral something brown like red something brown I'll I'll let you guys know in the Facebook group but it's just a very pale yellow and you guys said that the video was okay it just bugged me a little bit that the color was kind of off. It kind of just washed it out a little bit, but um, I can always post the video again. But yeah, there you go. And that probably took me 
probably well with filming and stuff it kind of I stopped and recorded and things like that but it probably took me maybe 30 minutes and if I didn't film it it probably only would have taken me maybe 15 10 minutes if you have everything laid out kind of like how I did at the beginning and then just you know go through all your steps but it was really simple and it's such a great project like especially if you have grandkids and you want to show them embroidery I feel like in the hoop projects are so much fun to watch and also do because in my opinion they're more convenient you know you kind of have everything done and in the hoop you just take it out and all I did was trim the excess and flip it and you're done so things like that you know simple projects if someone's trying to get in to embroidery or things like that you didn't need a second machine um so yeah it was really fun and it was great and I highly recommend everyone to just go stitch it out and just sew something today why not that's my that's our homework for this week is just to go stitch something out and post a picture because I want to see it because I love seeing all the projects but yeah let me know what you guys thought and what you guys think because I saw all the comments while the video was playing and you guys are so nice you guys are so kind and I really appreciate it because I just love bringing you guys good content and that was the first time that I've ever done that so if you're watching thanks for joining my first takeover wow Whew. Whew. It's, we're good now <laughs> the stress is okay no but it's great and somebody did ask where you can get the design if you join our facebook group right down below in the, the description box um just join that group and i will accept you and you can get right in it'll be right at the top of the featured section of the facebook group they right now we only have the pes design file but if you do have a different machine or it's not compatible send me an email at kennedy c at sewing machines plus and i can get that fixed and i can send you a file to match your machine so there we go all right guys let me know if you guys want more because that was so much fun and i thought that filming was gonna kind of be a little too much but um no it was really fun now you guys are asking me if i'm gonna do all the takeovers um I don't know it's up to you guys you tell me because that was so much fun I would do that again of course of course but you guys need to tell me what you want to see because I tend to look in like the same type of projects like my my roadhouse is probably going to be in the hoop I love embroidery and I love in the hoop projects but push me on my limits give me some ideas let me know what you guys want to see because it was really fun and I also when I think about like when I'm watching a YouTube video, for example, and I'm the one that's learning, like this is a very different thing because I'm, you know, doing the show and all that stuff. But when I'm looking at YouTube videos and I'm trying to learn stuff, it's so easy for me to watch videos like that and follow along. So if you guys agree, that's perfect. I love it. So it's great. And I also love that you guys like the music. I'm very picky when I watch videos. If the music is too crazy and too loud, I feel like I can't concentrate. So I try to keep it just very minimal relaxing but yeah it's really great Ooh, roxanne gave me a good idea let's do a month long with you three yard quilt start to finish i'm kind of on board i'm kind of on board i've never finished a quilt i've never i've always kind of got halfway through the piecing portion but then <laughs> i tend to lose a little bit of motivation so if you guys think that I should do it you guys can hold me to it so maybe we'll try that next I don't know you guys are inspiring me for some new projects but definitely let me know and if you guys want more videos like this let me know just just let me know give me give me the rundown let me know what you guys want to see and like if you're a serger person give give us all the info maybe I'll do a post on the Facebook group and you guys can we can do like a whole comment section of ideas and things like that. Sally C said in the hoop quilt block quilt blocks. See, I love, I love, I love the ideas. So, okay. All right. See, I even have, I was going to show you guys this today. I just got this jelly roll of these, or I guess they're called Bali pops, but it is the Bali batiks. And I believe this is, I want to say it's the daybreak daybreak one. But it has really beautiful patterns and it's just the, the small strips and I want to do something with it, but I don't know what. So it's kind of just been sitting here. So if you have any ideas, lollipops, yes. I believe because these are batiks, they called them bollipops. That's what it said on the packaging. I hope 
that's okay. I hope that's all right. But yeah, so let me know what I should do with this because I hate seeing fabric just sitting around and not, you know, in anything or completed. So let me know. Let me know. I kind of had an idea to do like a headband or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the, the road takes us. Um, Brenda asked, what machine do I have? So I'm very lucky because, you know, we get to try different machines and um, do different things here at the SMP office. But for the moment, I've been using the Brother NQ3700. Such a good machine. Highly, highly recommend it. But that one, if you are out of state, it is a retailer product or a retailer machine. So if you are looking for a machine that's similar to that, um, the 3600 chef's kiss both of those machines are so amazing they have they go up to the six by ten hoop i do really want a bigger hoop though so i am gonna work on the 3700 a little bit but i want to try something else and also give you guys um different content with different machines so that way you guys can see the variety that all of these machines have and all the different features because i don't even know all of them i'm barely just dipping dipping into all the different sewing machine things and products so um, but yeah, all right, guys, it is time for some giveaways. So, oh, let me just remind everybody one more time before we do giveaways. I promise we're doing giveaways. Um, if you want the design from today's show, go to our Facebook group. Link is in the description. Request to join. I'm going to refresh my screen right now and approve all of you guys right now. So if you have just joined, yes, there's a ton of people. So let me do that really quick. So now that you are in, it'll be at the top of the Facebook group page and you can download that. It's a Dropbox link. So you just click it. You'll get your design. It is in PES. If you do not have a machine that is compatible with PES, send me an email at Kennedy C at Sewing Machines Plus. I will get that um, fixed for you so you can have a design. You can stitch it out yourself. All right. Now it's time for some giveaways. Okay. Let me get my screen up. All righty. We are going to share my screen. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, this is probably one of my favorite episodes we've done. Just, I had so much fun. It was, I love doing projects and I always feel like this when I finish the show. I'm like, oh my God, it went so good. I love the show. And da, 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 da. So it's great. I'm very excited. And I also did have a lot of coffee this morning. So very energetic. <laughs> Let's get some music going and let's go ahead and do some giveaways. Alrighty. So let's pull this up. Okay. First up, first up is going to be a $100 gift card. So if you saw any of the products used today, I know I got a lot of comments about the Kimberell tape and the Filtec bobbins. Highly recommend those bobbins if you do embroidery. Oh my goodness, they're the best. The quality of the stitches with that bobbin, they're pre-wound, they make life so easy, you guys. And it's just great. So you can go buy whatever you please with this gift card. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel, shall we? Let's do it, okay? I have all these screens in front of me. I'm getting like, <laughs> getting tripped up. Okay, and if you do win today, let me know what you're gonna get sherry higby congratulations now you are a winner of a 100 dollars gift card so go ahead and head to smplive.tv to claim your prize and we will get that out to you via email so you can get shopping we want to get you some good stuff so that's good maybe if you're looking for a serger or you're looking for some notions i highly recommend you keep your eyes peeled for this april because April's going to be a good month. We are springing into the savings. I'm sorry. That was so corny. Anyway, let's do our next one. Okay. We are going to do a... You guys know them. You love them. You do. The iconic SMP Somats. You saw them in the video today. Let me tell you something, though. I always used to use the Somats as a pin cushion. So if you're doing a project and you just need a quick place to store your pins, you can stick them in there and they stay there and they don't cause any punctures or any crazy holes in the fabric. They're amazing. That's like my favorite way to use them, but you can do them however you please. So let's see who's going to win today. 
Dun, dun, dun. Brenda said, my embroidery machine would love a mat. Listen, we everybody needs one. Everybody needs one, I swear. Robin Rose, congratulations. You have just won an iconic SMP sew mat. We have, I believe we have, is it 13 or 14? I feel like you guys might correct me. 13 or 14 different colors. We have a leopard print, which is brand new, but you can only get that in medium and large. So go on our website, go to SMP Live T TV, excuse me, and browse through, see what color and what size you want. If you've got a smaller machine, we have sm we have excuse me, we have sizes to accommodate these smaller machines, and then we also have um, larger machines, larger mats, all that kind of stuff. And you don't even need to put your machine on it, honestly. Um, we have everybody here using them as mouse pads. Um, anywhere that you need a little mat or anything like that, it'll be perfect for you. And we've got some cute colors, so go check them out and go get one for you on us and fill out the form and we'll get it shipped out to you. All right. I think we're going to do, I think I want to do one more sew mat and maybe one more gift card. Is that cool? Should we do that? Okay. We're going to do one more mat because everybody needs a mat, right? Diana, she just said, everybody needs a mat. You guys. I swear you, everybody needs a map. Okay, we're gonna spend one more time and see who's gonna win. Again, you can pick whatever color you want. Just head to SP Live TV and we have a whole um, little chart that you can see all the different colors and all that stuff. Marissa Dandridge, congratulations. You have just won a brand new sewing mat. So go ahead and head to smplive.tv, pick out a color that you would like and the size that you'd like put it down in the forum, fill out your information and send that over to us. We will get that and ship that right out to you. So you can start sewing in style and have a cute little setup for you and your machine. Cause you need to, you need to have some aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing eye catching items. You know, it's just, it's true. It, it's what motivates us. You guys know. Okay. One more gift card for the win, because I want to give you guys the hook up when it comes to all your favorite products and supplies because you guys i just i get it i get it i get it all right let's go ahead and spin see who's gonna win let's see let's see and hendrix congratulations you have just won a 100 dollars gift card to sewing machines plus so if you'd like to redeem that, go ahead and head to smplive.tv, fill out the form. We will send that to you via email. And if you are local, you can always come into the stores and we can redeem that for you as well. So with that, you guys, oh my goodness, this concludes my first ever takeover. What the heck? This is crazy. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and putting up with me and having the patience through that whole video. I had so much fun filming that and... The reaction that I got from you guys today, definitely I will work on some more shows and provide some more content myself because that was fun for me and for all of you. So thank you again. You guys are the best. I can always come to you guys and you guys give me your feedback and all that stuff. Even if it's good, bad, anything like that, let me know. I'm always trying to work and, you know, provide the best type of shows and the best and provide the best content and projects and things like that so let me know in the facebook group we'll talk we'll talk all day today and let me know what you guys want to see next and i'll start working on it i'll start working on it guys oh my goodness okay i've gotta go we're gonna go back to work i've gotta go i'll go guys i'm sorry but i will see you guys not only on thursday but i will see you back again next tuesday for takeover tuesday and i hope you join me again and Zena said, tell Winston his mom did a great job. I will. <laughs> I will. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right. I hope you guys make a project today or try that in the hoop mug rug and send me pictures. I love seeing them. And I will see you guys so, so soon. Peace out. I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye, guys.